6,000 years ago, a fierce warrior known as the Scorpion King led a great army on a campaign to unite the known world. Though they fought well, the Scorpion King and his army were defeated by the Sumerians and driven deep into Amshir, the sacred desert. On death's door, the Scorpion King made a pact with the desert god, Anubis. If Anubis would let him live to conquer his enemies, he would surrender to Anubis, his immortal soul. The next year, the Scorpion King stormed northward with the army of Anubis. No power on earth could stop the supernatural warriors, and the Sumerians were crushed before them. But the Scorpion King's moment of victory was also his last. As the army of Anubis was returned once again to oblivion, the soul of the Scorpion King was banished to the underworld. Ages have passed from that year to this, the year of the Scorpion. In this one year of the millennia, the army of Anubis can return to ravage the earth like a lethal plague if the evil sorcerer Imhotep has his way. Having uncovered the corpse of the mummy in the desert sands, a dark order now works to revive the only being mighty enough to overthrow the Scorpion King, claim the army of Anubis, and go on to rule the world in darkness. May the gods help us. The mummy returns. Rise up. Rise up! Rise up! Thank you, my servants. Your master has awoken. Ah, oh, you carry a heavy curse with you, my lord. The pharaoh and the ancient gods are not pleased. They have many powers that can stand in our way and keep us from our quest. The gods of the Nile must be appeased. We have brought these sacred statues here so that you can try to make atonement to the ancient gods. Four offering stones have been hidden throughout the museum. Return the stones to the statues. If your offering is accepted, the gods will bless and make a gift to you in return. <sighs> Your magic is growing stronger with every passing moment, Lord Imhotep. But the strength of your powers drains your own life force, my lord. The curator tells me there must be at least three canopic jars within this very museum. I fear you will not be able to survive long without retrieving them. The jars will help you increase in health, which will allow you to expand your growing powers and cast more powerful spells. But better yet, some of the jars have been known to contain spells. You cannot regenerate your mortal body without the souls of the living, my lord. If you suck the souls of the living, you will be able to enhance your powers and your strength. Here, yeah. try a guard or two. I'm sure they're delicious. You can suck the life force from human beings to restore your own strength and power. If you beat a human into submission, they will become stunned and powerless. Only then will you be able to steal their life force. Let me show you the ancient spell.
The son of the American Rick O'Connell. And the wife Evie, she is often at the museum. But I believe you have already met these Americans, have you not, my lord? Imhotep! You will die at my hands now, creature. As you should have perished at the hands of my Magi forefathers thousands of years ago! FOR THE PHARAOH! To your death. Hurry, my lord. You will never defeat the Magi unless you resurrect your own devoted soldiers. Do it, now! Come, Lord, the quest is upon us. <laughs> 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 